what's going on guys? Chris Travis here with Fandra.com. Uh, today we're going to be taking a very quick look at Snapchat. Now, I know a lot of you folks out there are pretty uh, well accustomed to the app and how it works, but for those sort of thinking about getting into Snapchat or checking it out, it can be a little bit daunting. It's, it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty hard to sort of uh, figure out exactly what everything does, and Snapchat kind of prides itself in that, and there's no real sort of um, tutorial in the app that sort of explains things. So... I wanted to cover it and just show you some of the basics on navigating the UI. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. First thing you do is gonna download the app, open the app, and then you're gonna sign in or create an account. All you need is your email, um, your a username, password, and I believe your email address. Um, and the first thing you're gonna see when you open the app is the viewfinder screen here. This is pretty much typical to any camera app um, and it allows you to sort of snap photos and videos and whatnot. Um, let me show you guys how to sort of switch between your front and rear cameras. There's a little option there at the top. You can sort of just click that. Um, and then you have your flash or no flash for when you take a photo or video, which can be helpful. And then um, there's also a little shortcut. You can sort of double tap the display to sort of switch between front and rear cameras as well. It's a little secret uh, that most people know about if you're, you know, been, been around Snapchat for a while. Um, and then taking a photo, you can either just press the little dot there or you can hold it for a video and it'll just take a quick 15 second, second clip of a video, whatever you like, let go whenever you're done and you can sort of play around with a bunch of different tools on sort of customizing your snap. So um, let me just go ahead and show you some of those right off the bat for when you take a photo. Uh, you have your text editor so you can add text. Tapping it once will do the line, tapping it twice will allow you to kind of make some big words and then you can drag them around enlarge them, sort of pinch to zoom, and rotate them and do whatever you like with them. Uh, you also have your little pencil tool here for sort of coloring and drawing on your snaps. Uh, then you have your stickers, which are just really big emojis and whatnot. Uh, and then some of the additional options here for custom stickers you've made, your bitmoji, which are basically uh, sort of like characters based on your likeness. And you can sort of customize those, sort of like the little Miis from Nintendo. Uh, and then you have all these different sticker options there at the bottom as well. If you click the little scissor tools, this will allow you to sort of do some cool special effects so you can sort of edit out some things if you would like to, um, like maybe change the background. So if I sort of draw once I've chosen this, this is what I want to remain untouched. Just sort of uh, put some stuff in the background and you can sort of change the background to different you know patterns and shapes and whatnot. So if you have like a photo of you and your honey, you can sort of outline yourselves and kind of make the background look interesting and unique. You can also uh, click the little paper clip there to paste a URL and um, if you allow it, it'll take whatever is the last thing that you copy and pasted or you copied onto your clipboard from your phone and then you can easily type, type uh, just sort of insert a URL. So if you're maybe talking about some crazy article you read or something, you can put a URL in there and then your friends can swipe up on your video or photo or something and sort of read more about it. Uh, and then you also have your timer. This is only applies to your photos that you've taken uh, since videos are capped at 15 seconds for now. There will be an update where they allow them to go up to a minute if you do these different, uh, where you stitch together different clips, but the update's not out yet. Uh, as far as photos go, you can sort of adjust how long you want the person to view it. If you send it to someone directly, it'll be viewed for four seconds and after that, it's gone. Um, if you post it to your story, it can be replayed multiple times, but you can sort of set a timer as a fun way of sort of just, you know, not letting people sit there and dwell on your stuff. So once you have your completed creation or your little fun little snap like so, you can, um, there's little shortcuts here at the bottom. The arrow down will save it to your memories, which will save it to the cloud, to your Snapchat account in the cloud. So next time you log into on a different phone or a different device, you can, um, everything is saved into your quote unquote memories. Uh, so that's pretty nice. And then you can also just directly save it to my story. This will broadcast it to everybody who's following you. Um, or you could just press the arrow and sort of fine tune who exactly you would like to share it to. You can send it to your story. And then you also have all your different recents, people that you've recently uh, been in contact with, and you can sort of just send it to them individually as well. So you can do both my story and to people. And then once you're done, you click the little uh, arrow there to send it off. That's just the main viewfinder screen. There's still uh, a little bit more <laughs> to be to kind of go into. So um, if I swipe down, this will pull up the search and this will allow you to search for specific people. Um, it'll show you hot topics and things that are sort of going on. Um, Justin Bieber, if I typed in Justin, if you want to look at Justin Bieber's snaps, I guess. 
Um, and it's sort of a fun way just to sort of browse through and just check out what's going on in the world. There's all kinds of stuff to see in here, and it's definitely a good way to waste some time. So clicking the little ghost icon will show you your profile and um, allow you to see who's added you, allow you to add friends in a variety of different ways, whether it's by username, by their snap code, which is this little code here, uh, or just by people that are nearby. You have my friends, which can show you all the people that you're friends with. Uh, the little settings up there will allow you to dive into all the different Snapchat settings and sort of control the privacy, who can see what, uh, add a credit card if you want to send cash, that sort of thing. And then you can also create a Bitmoji, which I kind of explained a little bit earlier. Um, if you swipe over to the right, or you could actually tap the little icon there as well, either way, swipe over, this will bring you to your chats. And these are your chats that you've had with people. These do expire. Um, after everybody has viewed them. So if you have a group chat, after everyone's viewed it, the snap is gonna disappear. Um, and then, you know, whether it's text or whatnot, you can send f uh, pictures that are saved to your device. You can make a phone call to that person. Uh, tapping the circle will allow you to just quickly take a snap and send it to them if you wanna do that. Uh, and the video icon will allow you to send a video call or make a video call or send a video voicemail if it's kind of short. And then you have the sticker button down here to kind of go through your stickers and bitmojis and all that fun stuff. So clicking the menu button here will show you your friend's profile information, um, their snap code, their area, their location. You can edit their name if you would like to change their name. You can block them or you could just completely unfriend them um, as well. Let's get back out of here. Okay, so now swiping over to the left will pull up um, stories. Now these are all the people that you follow, all your friends and whatnot, and some of the stories that they you know, publicly, or not publicly, but broadcasted out to their followers. Um, you can sort of add your own by clicking that if you'd like. I mean, or you could just do it from the viewfinder. You can control your privacy settings there on your stories as well. And you can search for people's stories. Uh, you just scroll through all your different friends. Once you've viewed a story, it will be taken out of this uh, recent updates and get stashed at the very bottom, which we'll get to. Uh, if I keep scrolling down, you'll see your featured uh, articles, which are basically um, short little video clips and stuff from different websites all around. And you can kind of um, let's go ahead and click one. See here, they're sort of animated like a little video, so they look very catching. And then if you want to read the article, you can go ahead and swipe up and sort of just read them like that and kind of go through the article, just like you were if you're on a website or your web browser. Um, you can sort of scroll through the different articles that are from that specific uh, media outlet by just tapping, just like you would anyone else's story. And sometimes you will see the occasional ads. So this is really cute, um, all the Dodo stuff. And if you'd like, you can subscribe to some of these, and these will be stored in your subscription area. So it's kind of a way of like favoriting your favorite uh, websites and stuff. You have your shows, which you know there are little Snapchat shows now, and then um, stories and whatnot. Uh, once you have viewed someone's story, it gets stored down here in all stories. So if you want to go back and revisit them, you can do that. And then swiping one more time to the left, we'll just pull up all the Discover stories again. Um, so there's two different sections, which basically you know the same content in a way. Now we're back at the main, our main viewfinder screen, swiping up, we'll pull up your memories, and I kind of talked about this earlier, but this is just uh, where all your snaps go and are stored. If you want them to be stored in the cloud, you can turn this feature off if you don't like it, um, but it's a cool way, and they're sort of just sort of organized in different tabs as well if you want to just look at just your snaps or just your videos or just your stories. Uh, again, lots of stuff. I know it's a little bit complicated and a little bit convoluted, but that is pretty much Snapchat in a nutshell. I try to go really fast, even though it's eight minutes, um, but hopefully this sort of covered many of the basics. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and link a bunch of different tutorials and uh, how-tos that I've created for Snapchat on Fandroid.com. Really, really helpful and sort of deep dive into each one of the different, you know, screens or little areas of Snapchat because, again, it is sort of a lot to take in. So I just hope that this video was helpful to you guys. Um, if you're a beginner or you're thinking about getting into Snapchat, so now you can see it's not too scary. Um, and with that, I am Chris Chavez of Fandroid.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.